Welcome to the Travel Discovery Podcast. You're on air with Lisa here at Travel Discovery. We're going to bring you some relocation ideas, vacation ideas. If you want to be a digital nomad, we'll spotlight some countries and destination, and that's what we're going to do today. So remote working is a concept that, of course, isn't new, but it's growing in popularity since the pandemic. And more people are finding that the freedom to log on from anywhere is exactly what they need to achieve a work-life balance. So again, some will do it temporarily and others will do it long term. So I'm going to highlight three destinations that are often not talked about. They're a bit off the beaten path, but a great destination, again, if you want to move and relocate and just work remotely, even if it's temporarily. There's an interesting piece of data that I want to start with, though, today. A recent study found that more than 40% of office workers in the UK have taken a workcation in the past year, and over a third are planning one in 2023. So this work-from-anywhere concept really is growing. So the first country that I want to start with is Nicosia. Cyprus, the country of Cyprus. So Nicosia, which is the capital of Cyprus, is a fascinating blend of cultures and turbulent history. It's known as the last divided capital city in Europe, and the city is split along a UN peacekeeping zone. So crossing the border does not require your passport, although it's generally easy and many do it every day. While there is a very high military presence in Nicosia, it's a very safe city with a low crime rate. So remote remote workers, they do like this location for its safety, which is very important, and low cost of living. Not to mention, Nicosia receives an average of 12 hours of sunlight a day, which of course is going to affect your mood uh, for the better. Uh, And it makes sense. Uh, because Cyprus is known for its sun, sand. Um, These are the things that you're going to find there, and also famous beaches. And Nicosia does tend to get quite hot in the warmer months, so just be, you know, warned. So make sure if you're here at that time just to get a space that has air conditioning or a pool. So Nicosia, Cyprus. The next country, again, a little bit off the beaten path, which is not talked about, but Montenegro, Budva Montenegro. So the tiny European country of Montenegro has been gaining popularity recently, and travelers are finding more and more reasons uh, to check out this Balkan gem. While many remote workers and tourists tend to head to a more well-known neighbor of Croatia, and Croatia is another great location if you're looking to be a digital nomad, but Montenegro is beginning to gain greater widespread attention. And one reason this coastal city is favored by remote workers is the fast internet speeds that cover most of the country. And of course, that's super important if you're going to be a remote worker. You cannot relocate somewhere and suddenly discover you have low internet speeds. That doesn't make sense. So that should be a top priority when you relocate and work from any location. And then in addition, the SIM cards are cheap and they're packed with data, helping to ensure that you're always connected. While the cost of accommodation in Budva can get quite high in the tour season, a visit in the uh, sort of the off seasons uh, it does ensure a great weather and lower cost, not to mention, of course, smaller crowds. And the third country that we're going to highlight today, again, off the beaten path is Romania. So many people don't think of being a digital nomad in Romania, um, the city in particular, and I'll say this in my best Romanian, is Cluj-Napoca. Cluj-Napoca is the city. And this Eastern European country has been a favorite amongst the travelers in the know for many years, but Romania is recently seeing a tourist boom, um, partially thanks to a Netflix new show called Wednesday. And I haven't watched this. I have no idea what it's about, but uh, it's sort of boosted Romania's uh, popularity and put it under the spotlight. So it's helping their tourism sector post-pandemic. So remote workers are also 
looking uh, for cities that, of course, are convenient and cost-effective options, and this is one. So Cluj-Napoca is considered to be one of the most beautiful cities in Romania, and this uh, Transylvanian capital is loved by remote workers for, uh, first of all, its affordability, its liveliness, and its stunning views. And the cost of living there, um, paired with the, the famous hospitality that it's known for, makes this location a favorite for travelers, uh, travelers for, for all types and from all parts of the world. So maybe consider those three destinations if you're looking to be a digital nomad or you just want to check it out for a while. So that's Romania, Montenegro, and Cyprus. See you next time on the Travel Discovery Channel. And here we are going to continue to look at other great locations if you want to be a digital nomad or work remotely. So see you next time. Please remember to see, explore, and discover. Thank you.